COVID pandemic has brought sweeping changes to society this 2020. And one of the biggest changes is the shift in our financial structure. Many companies have gone bankrupt, a lot have closed down, a lot of people have lost their jobs. And as a result, many have been borrowing. Friends, relatives might have gone to you and uh, requested for bridge financing in order to survive. You being the good-hearted Samaritan probably lent to many of these friends and relatives. Now, months have passed by and you're starting to wonder if you will see your money back, especially as times are getting really tough for you as well. Do you have a remedy? How can you collect? The answer to this is, it depends. First of all, you should have a document evidencing the borrowing. That means when the person went to you and borrowed money, you should have written that down in an agreement. The reason for this is when you have a written document or a contract evidencing the uh, loan borrowing, you have up to 10 years to collect on that loan. That debt after 10 years, if not collected upon and demanded upon, will prescribe, which means that you can no longer collect on that debt. If you have no written document, you have up to six years to collect. After six years, the action prescribes, which means that the law will no longer tolerate a collection on that debt after six years. It is also very important that on the date of maturity of that loan, evidenced by this uh, document, that you write a demand notice. The demand notice is your basis for collection. You cannot send a text message. You cannot call the person. You cannot send a Viber or a Facebook Messenger notice of collection. It must be written. It must be sent to the address of your debtor. If you have this, the very next step is to go to the Metropolitan Child Court. This is if the amount is under 300,000 pesos. Now, when you proceed to the Metropolitan Trial Court, all you will need is the contract of agreement that evidences the debt as well as the demand notice. From here, it will be very simple. The judge will simply weigh the evidence and if he rules in your favor, he will make stipulations as to the payment of the debt and this will end your dilemma. So remember, in the future, good-hearted Samaritan or not, if you're lending money, make sure that this is in writing and upon the maturity of the loan, you send out a demand notice in writing by registered mail or by courier to the individual who owes you money. This will ensure that the proceedings as you move forward will proceed smoothly in both your favors.